YouTube, Eric DIY with another video review for you. Today we're reviewing the new lock, smart lock with alarm. And I also want to point out the fact, I want to thank Uncle Tim out there for making Zach the ring bearer at his wedding, which we just got back from. Well, hello, Zachary. How are you doing? I'm good. Here. I'm doing great. This is the first time we've really used a selfie stick, right? Yeah, to get some. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Say hi. Hi. So as you can see, the new lock, smart lock with alarm, comes with a manual over here. Comes with its own little storage sack. Comes with the new lock itself. It also comes with a card which has the factory password on it, and then you can write your own password that you use to connect to the new lock, smart lock with Bluetooth. So as you can see, the lock is pretty simple. It has one lock button on there. Has an unlock switch here, which unhooks it from the main lock and everything is locked up though through this main button. It does have a battery compartment that we have to unscrew and it takes three AAA batteries. Now the screws are small so don't lose them but I also wanted to show you that it's waterproof. So this is a waterproof smart lock. And finally we'll put in the last AAA battery and it gives us two beeps to let us know that it's powered up. There are many features with the new lock smart lock with alarm. There's an anti-cutting function which means if you cut the cable in any way it activates the alarm immediately. If you try to remove the battery cover, it activates the alarm immediately. It also has a vibration function, which is optional, which is where if you move the lock, it's going to give a one second long beeping of the alarm. And then if you keep shaking it, it's going to be 30 seconds of the alarm sound. It's waterproof. It's IPF44 approved. Its alarm sound is up to 110 decibels and it connects through Bluetooth on your phone. They give you a sketch map. They tell you to put the batteries in, which we just did. And then you also have to download the new lock app to make this work. They call it a smart lock because it has many different uses and it uses the app. Uh, pretty much this is what I'm going to use it for though. When Zach and I are camping, we're going to use the solar generator. I was a little concerned about leaving the solar panels out without any type of lock. By the way, if you want to see the review of the BioEnoPower solar generator, we have the link down below in the description. Please feel free to look at it. But what we're going to do is we're going to push lock on the new lock smart lock right here. If you notice, you gave three beeps to say it's armed. We haven't tied around anything yet, but what you want to do if you want to unlock it, so you push scan to connect to the alarm once you have it on already and locked. It's going to scan and then it's going to ask you for the password. Again, they have a default password when you first use this, but then you change it to your own. So I'm going to type in my own password. Then you push confirm and it'll send you, and it'll say smart lock connecting success. You click on that and the only way to unlock it now is through your phone. If it has 5% or less battery power, it just won't function. So if the battery is low, just know that the lock will not be able to be used. To unlock it, you just go to the app after it's connected and hit unlock. And it does a long beep like that and then you know it's unlocked. It also flashes blue on the light on the LED here to show you that's connected through Bluetooth. So our setup on this review is for demonstration purposes only, but just know I have the smart lock hooked around the solar panels and around this post on my front porch. If you need to undo the lock, there's a red button on the side. You just hold it down and pull, and the lock will come out. That's how you attach it. And then we're just gonna lock it down by pushing it back in. And then to arm the new lock smart lock, we're just gonna push the lock button. And it gives us three beeps and it's locked. As we notice, it's connected to Bluetooth to the lock. And I'm actually gonna show you probably the greatest features that you could have vibration on. We're gonna turn vibration on. And now it's armed so that whenever it's not connected with Bluetooth, if anyone touches your lock, it's gonna do a one second alarm to warn them. And then if they keep trying to touch your lock, it's gonna go off for 30 seconds. I'm gonna disconnect Bluetooth so that there's no Bluetooth and it's still armed for vibration. So pretend that I am a guy trying to get your lock off. And it gave me a one second warning. If I keep going after it, after that one second warning, it's gonna set it off. It's only 30 seconds though. That's gonna get someone's attention. It only took 30 seconds for it to turn off. But if you log into the app and you can connect to it, you can turn it off that way as well. Vibration is only good probably if you're going to be away from your place where you're using it. So it's totally optional on vibration. You don't have to have it on. Another great feature too is the auto unlock. As you notice, we're still locked because it has the unlock button in blue. But if we push the auto unlock, whenever you're connected through Bluetooth, it'll unlock it. So those are the basic features of the new lock smart lock with alarm. I know it'll definitely work for my application. Uh, you can hook it up to bikes mopeds, doors, if you have uh, two handles, you can lock it up to handles and stuff. It comes in two different links, by the way. 
Um, this is the 47 inch, I believe. That's the one I wanted. So if you like to purchase your new lock smart lock with alarm, please look for a link in the description below. We'll send you to Amazon where you can purchase your very own. You'll be supporting the Eric Day channel at the same time. We appreciate all your support. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please give a thumbs up and push that subscribe button. And as always, have a great evening. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at eric5150diy at gmail.com. Have a great day.